Hey y'all, in for H and H. I just, I just chased that soda station. He's in California on Dictionary Hill. Look him up. What I want you to hear is this. You're looking at the screen, but I'm running the FTDX 10 from Yesu. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm about to do something and listen. You hear all that? Let's get rid of it. That's somebody tuning to work him. Oh God, I bumped him off frequency. So, what do you do when you got that, that other station is transmitting at 28.427, two kilohertz away? I did two things to knock them down. I actually knocked them out. Let me undo it again. You hear it? Okay, first, narrow the width to 1,500. Because they're 2 kilohertz away, I'm going to need to really tighten up. But they're still probably going to sneak in a little bit. Yeah, they're not transmitting right now. Yeah, 73. It's getting warm up here. I'm about ready to call it quit. When they start again... I'll show you. CQ, 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 CQ soda, CQ soda, Kilo, Fox, Star 7, November, Papa. All right, there it is. Okay, and then shift. And since that's a high metallic sound, I shift negative. But also notice what happens when I shift. Listen to his voice when he talks again. Back, shift at zero. See, there was a little residual, but see that narrowing it like I did here takes the body out of his voice, you know, it takes the fullness away. But I need to shift negative anyway to duck the rest of that interference. And listen to his voice now when he talks. See, it restores some of that low frequency body and again I'm gonna undo all this now how do I undo all this let me show you that's the shift knob these indicators let me know that I'm using shift and width at other than their defaults I'm gonna long press shift Portable calling CQ, CQ, CQ. CQ Soda, this is Kilo, Fox Dot 7, November Papa, listening for any and all callers. Okay, when the interference comes back, I'll do it again. CQ, 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 this is Kilo, Fox Dot 7, November Papa, calling Already CQ. worked him, he gave me a 20 over. He said he's running 30 watts into a dipole up at 20 feet, but he is on a mountain summit. You hear the interference? Thanks for the Kentucky. You have a great day and a great weekend. 73 PSMF. 1650 might be enough. CQ, CQ, Soda. This is Kilo, Fox Dot 7, November for Pop. Kilo, Fox Dot 7, November for Pop. In my FT920, I ran a 2100 hertz roofing filter. See that down at the bottom of the screen there, 2100? As this is done digitally, but I ran a 2100 a lot. Okay, here we go. Now, going to 1500 because they're kind of strong. Still hearing just a little bit of it. There we go. 
that knocked out the rest of that interference and bolstered his audio. Okay, so we'll go back to the big screen here. Okay, and once again, I'm going to undo. And there's that noise. You can go down, you see that 1200? You can go down to 1200, and that'll help a lot of it. But I'm going to want to restore some of the body of his voice anyway, so I'm, I'm going to compromise and go 1500. And maybe negative 160. Now let me be clear. While this is a Yaesu FTDX10, everything I just showed you can be done on other radios of other from other manufacturers. They may not do it exactly the same way. For example, with a with an ICOM, um, you know, you'll have uh, twin passband tuning, so you're you make some adjustments to shift and width. Uh, together as part of that twin pass band tuning. I've shown that in uh, some 7300 videos. Uh, you know, so not every manufacturer does it this way. I think the Yesu way is more straightforward. I can work it quicker because I just because I just independently narrow the width and then independently adjust the shift rather than going in there and setting up. Uh, I'll call them recipes, if you will, with the twin pass band tuning, but. All radios have similar features. Okay, I hope you found the video helpful and informative. Thanks for watching videos on my channel. And I want to thank five of the Patreon team long haulers who make these videos possible. 73 from N4H&H.